what's up everybody, I'm Amitage, and welcome back to Banished. We've just come into early autumn, so we're heading into another fine winter. We have a whole lot of food being stored. We're 97% full in the barn, so our first order of business is not to pause the game, but it's actually to build another barn. Right here. So that we can produce some more shit. Because hey, it's great to be stocked up. Yes, I know it's near capacity. That's what you keep telling me. And then we're going to build some more houses maybe out this way. Because it's orchid time, I reckon. Although we don't really have the workers to support it. That is a thing. <laughs> we do need workers to support it, so... Hmm. We shall see. Right now we just need this barn so that we can store more than what we can fit in this barn because 98% full right now. Oh, because we've almost got 2,000 corn in there. We've got 3,700, 800 worth of food. We're doing good I reckon. I think after last episode where I was a little bit worried about winter coming. It's hard to say that without making it a reference but there you go. Um, so I was, a bit, I was a bit worried about the winter that's, you know, inevitably here every single year. That rhymed. And we did fairly well last time. We came out on top, actually. We pretty much haven't made a dent. So I might actually get a bit of a town hall being built. Because town halls are great because they give you statistics. And the, st the statistics are really useful. Plus, I like statistics. <laughs> I know, I know. It's a bit retarded, but I do like statistics. I think statistics can be taken way too seriously. And when that happens, I hate statistics. Because <laughs> people infer a lot of incorrect stuff by looking at numbers. However, the numbers you get in this are good. <laughs> it's like you produced X number of food and you used X number of food. So if you're producing more than you're using, obviously you're going to be able to grow. But for now, we just want this barn to be built so we can store more. 99% full over at this one. Almost there. Come on. Hey, there we go. See, they've been dropping stuff outside here because they've got nowhere else to put it. So all this stuff that gets produced here will, will go straight to this barn. See, it's already getting filled up. <laughs> and we've had someone grow up, which is nice. So that means we'll have someone to work in Orchid, which we're going to put in right in Orchid. Orchid. I don't know why I can't say Orchid. Not that it matters. <laughs> Alright, let's leave a space for a road and we'll put it in right here. And what's the maximum size of this? I think it's the same as the f crop field. Yeah, it's 15 by 15. Should we do it the same size? Why not? It's still going to be a while until it starts producing fruit because it takes a year or two for it to actually grow and kind of get into it. that's cool. We've got time. We're producing enough food at the moment so we don't need to rush it too too hard. It's a good time actually to build something like that because because we do have lots of food and you know we don't need to try and rush some food. Oh we can grow apples. We can grow apples and we need three which we have and then we've maxed out our farmers, so we've got all the people we need. Fantastic. Let's continue the road along here. I like making sure everything's connected up with roads. Makes me happy. <laughs> but I think we'll continue this as well. And get some houses going along here. But we'll put another road along here. Ooh, maybe not like that. Let's do it like that. 
so that they can kind of get around and it looks like a nice neat town. Maybe we can fit something in here. Oh, I reckon we could possibly... No, okay, the school's too big. Houses are too big. Okay, everything's too big there, so we're going to cancel that. <laughs> uh, cancel that road. Don't build it. I said don't build it. Delete. Delete. And we'll put some other building in here. I love the way they just kind of whack the ground with their tools. <laughs> okay. Let's remove that bit as well. And that bit. And that bit. Cool. Okay, you can see our orchid now has trees planted. Nice apple trees ready for the next crop. And we might continue our trend of... Houses along here. Let's just measure out a few things first. If we put a house here or here, it'll have to come out that far. Okay, that could be cool. Or could we put one? No. What if there was a school? Does that fit there? Not quite. Okay. You know what a good space filler is? Graveyards. <laughs> it's always a good way to just fill up some space if you need to. <laughs> but let's pop a... Let's pop a house there. And another one there. And let's go crazy. Let's pop another one up here too. Just because. Then we can pop a road down there to connect it all up. And I think that'll do us for now. That's a bit of a... Oh, it's a bit of a scary jump, actually, to build three houses all at once. Because that's a lot of families that are going to start breeding and doing stuff. And eating food. And wearing coats. And using firewood. Let's raise the limit of firewood. Let's make it 500 instead. <laughs> Yeah, this could, uh... It might sound paranoid, but if you've played the game, you know what I mean. <laughs> if you build too many houses all at once, you're, you're dancing with fucking the devil. It doesn't seem like our yield on the old corn is that great. I love watching it grow, though. I see it kind of plop up here and there. But I feel like the yield could be a lot better. Ooh, see it come up? Isn't that cool? I like that there's actually a, an animation for that sort of stuff. And it's not just like the sprite changes. It's actually a very pretty game, I think. Like, it's very good looking. I mean, when you really zoom in as well, it kind of... All the houses look really cool. Even the stockpiles of stuff. A little garden outside the herbalist. It's really groovy. <laughs> now this little hood is kind of trucking along nice and steady without too much worry. Oh, look at all that food they brought in last season. That's genius. How's our logs coming along? Not great. They got 200 logs previous season. We might have to build another forestry mob somewhere else before too long. How's our hunter going? Yeah, not bad. 22 leather. So we're kind of at the point now where we may actually want to build another forester, forestry lodge somewhere. Probably out this way would be the best bet, I reckon. So then we won't encroach on this territory. And it'll still be the same sort of distance away. So that will probably be on the cards before too long. But for now, we just need to wait for this orchid to get into production. Orchid. I keep saying orchid. <laughs> Maybe it is okay to call it an orchid, but I think it is an orchard if it's like a group of trees. I'm going to have to look it up. <laughs> 
cool. Our bounds aren't too full. Stockpile's fairly good. This one's pretty full, but this one's alright, so that's alright. Not worried about that. Oh, our houses are built. Who have we got? We've got a blacksmith and a builder. A gatherer and a farmer. And two farmers. So I imagine all the farmers will be... Yeah, working this field. I don't know why there's a gatherer living here. Like, I guess there's not enough houses up here. But that's okay, because I don't want any more up here. Because it's going to start... You know, there'll be less room for trees and gathering and... There'll be houses. Yeah, these guys are working up there. And well, that's the way it goes. Blacksmith lives right next door. Good, good thinking, Blacksmith. <laughs> oh, look at... We've had like four different kids born in the last season. It's fantastic. Now we've got 11 children and 25 adults. Sounds good to me. Oh, another adult. So, I think logs are kind of our problem at the moment. Logs and firewood are quickly going to become a problem. Although we do have logs, so that's okay. What else can we build? Let's start making a little plan. Oh, a trading post would be good. But I need a trading post to be over here. I think. Yeah, because see the river? Yeah, the trading post has to be on a river. Let's have a quick look at what it looks like. See, it's a big, big old building. And merchants will pull up their boats and trade things with you. But it has to be on the main river of the map. So if we look at our mini-map, way down here in the corner, you can see the only main river is that one. There are, th There's this little river that kind of meanders around and doesn't really do much. It's a bit pussy, really. <laughs> but there ain't no big river near near our peoples. Except this one. But that's okay, we can do that. We can do this. We can kind of expand out this way a little bit. In fact, I might put my forester out here. And then we can put a trading post here. And start kind of working this angle. And have houses and everything kind of being a bit of a long stretch out over to the lake. That could be good. Because eventually we're going to have to build quarries and mines and all that sort of thing. And there's a big old mountain here, so we might have to build a tunnel right through the mountain. And then we can set up mines on the other side of it. Because I don't think there's any, there's any like in-game reason not to build a mine somewhere, but I just think it should be separate for aesthetic reasons. Because, <laughs> yeah, mines are big, ugly things. And they have to be built on the side of a mountain. So, yeah, look, check that out. That's, like, a big, disgusting thing that shoots out smoke and everything. Quarries are even bigger, and they just create a big hole in the ground. <laughs> but they're very, very useful. There's no doubt about that. But I think we're doing good. We seem to be trucking along just fine. Look at we're almost at our limit for food. That's how good we're going. Damn. Alright, let's build this forest... Forest dude. Let's do it right... Right there. Because we'll build the same sort of setup that we had over the other side. Where we'll have a few other things that are kind of complementary to that setup. And we'll have a couple of houses. And you can kind of start to see the aura of the Forester Lodge. <laughs> without even clicking on it now. Because they're really getting into production. We've got four labourers working. It's pretty fantastic. Let's just extend this road as well. To about there. It's a bit hard to see when it's winter. 
And this guy can have this road come down here, connect up. Because we'll put other stuff around this kind of part of road as well, part of the road. Like we'll put a storage barn here and we'll put a, a what do you call it, a stockpile. Let's pop the barn in right away, right there. Let's pop a stockpile right next to it. And let's pop a house. Right there. In fact, let's pop two houses in. And then we'll think about other stuff as we go along. I think that's plenty for now. <laughs> There's all the stone to gather up and everything. So the other cool thing about putting your stockpile in straight away is that as they chuck, uh, you know, chop down trees and rocks and everything to build all this stuff they'll be able to just put it straight on the stockpile and they won't have to travel all the way back but so far I'm pretty happy with this I'm actually a little bit surprised because <laughs> the first time I played I was just suffering the whole time and I ended up having big famines and everything but this is going really well ah <sighs> Such a relief. <laughs> Let's speed it up to ten times just to get this job done. See, because I'm quite stable, I'm not so worried about burning through some time because up here in the um, the overview, it will pop up if anything does happen. Like if anyone's hungry or something like that, it'll pop up in a little icon here. So I'm kind of watching that at the same time as speeding through all this. But because I don't plan on doing anything else until this is established, I figure it must it's probably worth speeding right through it so that we don't have to sit and watch the same thing just going on <laughs> forever. <laughs> but hey, we're doing pretty good. We've already got a family living here. We've got our forester up and running, so we should assign some folk to that. Let's do that, and we'll leave one builder to finish that off. And in fact, let's gather up the stone from this area. Do it from here. Yeah, let's gather up all that stone and all that iron. So it's not getting in our way. I think that will be nice. Yes. <laughs> now let's check that aura, see what we're doing. Eh, not not a bad placement, not brilliant. We've got a bit of wasted space here, but I don't really care. <laughs> I think it's alright. I'm gonna add in a probably a gatherer here as well, because gatherers are just the bomb when it comes to getting food. Forester, 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 forester. Beautiful. I didn't want to have too many people traveling down here to to go to work. It's quite a way. Look how our orchard's growing even better now. So the cool thing about this is it takes a few years to get going, but once it does you get fruit every single year, like clockwork. It's fantastic. <laughs> And these guys just hunt and gather constantly, which is also fantastic. I think we might have to build a town hall and start looking at some stats. How are we going down here? Have you finished building everything? Yes, you have. Oh, but everyone's gathering stone and all that. Okay, that's cool. Let's have a little look-see at... Where is it? There it is. Town hall. It's a big building. But I think it's worth it. <laughs> Problem is, where do you put it? Probably put it around here somewhere, or even here. Oh, the big looming town hall. But that'd be a good place for a pub, though. I reckon we could just put it along here. Across the road from the blacksmith and the, the woodcutter. Yeah. That'll do. Bam. <laughs> 
because then once we get that up and running we can look at some juicy juicy statistics and see how we are actually faring instead of just how we think we're faring because <laughs> I think I'm doing all right but you never know with this thing you never know our food's come down a fair bit but it is kind of the end of the cycle just before we harvest it's probably the worst time for food So we would have run out a lot of stockpile and that sort of thing. We're going to have to set up another gatherer here before too long once a few children grow up. Currently got 16 children. Which is great because one of the problems I had in a previous game was an aging population. <laughs> Where I kind of grew a bit too fast but I was growing faster than uh, my people were able to have kids. So I ended up with a whole bunch of old people who were working all the time and all that kind of thing and that was great I had a whole lot of workers who were doing their thing but I didn't have nearly enough children to support it to come through and kind of pick up the slack because all of a sudden within a couple of years every single one of my workers died from old age and my population just plummeted because there wasn't any backup to support them it's just the problem with an aging population but, you know, that's one of the battles you have to deal with when you're trying to control such things. Look at this, it's just such a good looking game. Lovely. Cool, Forester's getting into it. <laughs> so you can see lots of little bushes and trees have been planted here, so he's they're, they're working away on it, which is nice to see. This one is probably going to use up all my stone and iron <laughs> and everything. In fact, let's put another builder on and let's just speed it up for two seconds before we call it a day. So I think our food's holding in there okay. The cool thing about getting a town hall is that we'll be able to have a look and see if we need to up the production or not. Because even though it's kind of hanging in there, it's hard to say when, you know, we're only just harvesting now, so maybe it is going down slightly, just not enough to really plummet and ruin it completely. But that's the kind of thing we're going to find out once we get this hole built. <laughs> Look at all these little trees. It's very sustainable. It's very, very sustainable. Ooh, we got a couple more laborers. A couple of kids grew up. Let's give them jobs. <laughs> as soon as you grow up, get a job. But I think we'll have to come back to the town hall being built. And the trees growing and the orchid that's about to be harvested maybe in another season. And just before we head into winter, oh, look at this, it's, it's so just ticking along nicely. But we'll call it a day. Everything is just coming up. Abitage ham. Abitage ham. Abitage ham? Abitage ham. Abitage ham. <laughs> Say it how you will. That's what we're called. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.